Hello, my name is Jay, and today we've got a look at the Ryzen 2700X benchmarks. And I got good news because I was really getting concerned there for a second. I made a previous video last week explaining how I was really concerned that if uh, AMD was only bumping up clock speed a slight bit, that that was going to be a big issue and not necessarily worth a whole generational leap. But now looking at some of these benchmarks that are rolling in, I definitely noticed that this is definitely more of a gaming oriented chipset rather than a workstation chipset. That's just simply because of the core clock speed across the board has increased by a fifth, which if you think, the score I mean, has increased by a fifth. And obviously that's pretty insane, especially when you're talking about gaming that actually makes a huge difference in some of those games that are heavily single threaded. So that leaves us at this point where I'll we only got a 10% increase in like the overall uh, multi-threaded workloads, but I feel like if AMD, comparing the you know 1700X to the one, uh, 2700X, I mean if you look at that, the single-threaded speed has or th th single-threaded uh, scores have actually increased substantially, which just really makes this new series more of a kind of gaming. Uh, workstation combination and rather just the sole workstation that is currently out there in the 1000 series. So the next thing I want to also talk about is the fact that there will be no 2800X, or at least that's what we've got currently in the roadmap. They haven't actually decided and I don't think it's going to be actually releasing with the rest of them if they do end up doing it. I really think that, that they've kind of tampered off and just kind of stopped there and say that there will only be the 2700 and then we, you kind of get into Threadripper Zone after that, which I think makes reasonable sense, but I also think that that kind of hinders some of the people that were really trying to get some high-end stuff with staying on the X370 and the X470 um, chipsets, which obviously people that have already got all that hardware definitely want to kind of retain that and not having to upgrade to you know the Threadripper system, which I understand AMD has a lot of like in-between steps for that, but I still feel like the Threadripper system is is a big leap and especially for someone that you know may want to upgrade later down the road I feel like that's just kind of leaving it off there I think they can make a little bit more money down there um, but I was really concerned and I made, as I said I made a video about this just discussing how I felt like it was just so um, disappointing that the fact that AMD would do a little chipset now AMD is also including more RAM overclocking um, you know more memory controllers things like that got a little bit more cash things like that small little adjustments but it hopefully will make a big difference especially since the infinity fabric that AMD uses is heavily RAM dependent if we get some higher overclocking speeds on the RAM I think it will make a big difference in performance as well and the RAM that they tested was uh, 3200 megahertz on both systems so I really think that it is and this is the Geekbench score um, I really think that it's going to really make a difference when you can actually overclock and use RAM that's overclocked and you know use some high speed RAM. I think that the way the Infinity Fabric works will actually you know definitely boost the score on that one and make a big difference especially for everybody that might be getting these systems. As I said though for me I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade or not. I really I mean I don't know if that's something that you know I, I the reason why I made that last video is because I felt like it was no, not worth an upgrade and now that we've got all this single thread stuff it's the question is, should you upgrade? And, I mean, looking at this, as I said, I made that video saying that I was really, really concerned. But now I look at this and I'm like, I personally don't do a whole lot of gaming, but I do think that the overclocked processor will definitely help in the gaming that I do. Uh, I like PUBG a lot. Um, no offense to the Fortnite players, I, I think that's a cool game as well. I just, I personally like PUBG, PUBG a little bit more. But... You know, just the overall clock speed will definitely make a difference in some of those single thread games, especially, um, you know, I, I don't know, my younger brother plays Minecraft all the time, so I think that would be an example where that would make a big difference. I mean, while you'd be getting a 1700X, almost said K there for a second, oof, um, for playing Minecraft is another conversation altogether. But basically the point being is, I am looks like this is going to be more of a gaming geared kind of update rather than the Ryzen just brought us cores for an affordable price, this looks like it'll be bringing us gaming cores for an affordable price, which will be awesome. And I think for a lot of the Twitch streamers and maybe some of the people that do stream, I don't know, games like Minecraft, because Minecraft's the one I can think of, of, off, think of off the top of my head, I feel like that's something that would be an example, maybe streamers or YouTubers, things like that, that would actually use those cores. But if you're getting something like that just for a single thread game like Minecraft, then yeah, no. Um, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I try to do my best, and of course, if you didn't, I'm sorry. 
And of course, check out my channel for other of those cool tech-related things, news, etc. And I uh, hope to see you around. Goodbye.